Hi, it's Daniela at California Carnivores, and today we're going to do a check-in on the temperate sundews so you know what to expect uh, with your temperate sundews when it comes to September. So here in California, we have hot weather actually all the way usually through October, but many of the temperate sundews go dormant in September, but some of them go dormant quite early actually. Things like hybrida go dormant even earlier in the season, as early as July sometimes. So don't freak out if you've noticed that your temperate sundews have gone dormant or are starting to go dormant. We see banata has actually started to go dormant in many areas as well. And especially if you get them shipped to you this time of year when they go in that box and they ship across the United States, they're definitely gonna think it's time to go dormant. Okay, so let's take a look at my plants that are growing outside in zone 9B. And remember, because my zone is different than your zone, potentially we might have slightly different variations. Your plants may be more dormant or less dormant than mine, but this is a good example of what they might look like. Okay, so I've got three different examples here. Now, pretty obviously this tracea is still going strong. It's got some died back leaves, some died back flowers, but it's normal. But if you look in the center, look, new leaves are still growing. And I would expect this to keep going for a little while. But again, in your area, if the temperatures start to drop, that's going to trigger that dormancy reaction. Now this is a Philiformis Florida Red, and this still looks pretty good, but I can even see signs on this guy that it's gonna start to go dormant soon. But again, it's still growing new leaves from the center, so that's another sign that it's pretty happy and content. But of course, then there's the Hybrida. Now Hybrida are one of my personal favorite temperate sundews because they are just as stunningly beautiful, but they go dormant early in the season and they die back. And what I really wanna show you is that most of your temperate sundews are gonna die back very similarly to this. My camera would just cooperate. So you can see that thing in the very center there. It looks kind of like a little woolly stump. Sometimes this will be white and woolly. Sometimes it's brown and woolly, but these are the hibernacula. And if you kind of gently kind of rub on them, they are a firm little bud in the soil. This is actually what the plant has died back to for the winter. This is a perfectly healthy, wonderful thing to see. When I see these, I actually get really excited because that's a healthy plant. Look at all those healthy hibernacula. That's what you want to see. And on a plant like this, you're gonna actually see, you can already see, see that white stuff forming, that little white hair? That's totally normal. That's gonna be what's gonna cover the top of the hibernaculas when they are formed on this plant here. So when winter comes, that's what your plant's gonna look like. It's gonna have all these little dead leaves leading to this center. And that's totally happy and healthy. And so I'm just gonna pop it back in the water. All right, I hope that helps answer some questions about temperate Durosera in the fall and how they should look. And if you have questions about how yours look, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. And definitely check out our other videos on dormancy because dormancy is a pretty in-depth topic and it's hard to answer in the comments. But check those videos out. And again, if you have questions, let me know. All right, happy growing.